Let's dive into the fascinating world of how living things are organized. Today we're exploring how cells are organized into tissues, organs, and systems. This organization helps living things function smoothly and efficiently, whether they're simple organisms or complex beings like us. It all starts with the cell. Cells are the basic unit of life. Everything living is made up of cells. But in multicellular organisms, cells don't just float around randomly. Instead, they work together in highly organized ways to make sure the body gets what it needs to survive. When similar cells group together to perform a specific function, they form tissues. Think of tissues as teams of cells working on the same task. For example, muscle tissue is made up of muscle cells that work together to help your body move. Nerve tissue is made up of nerve cells that send signals to and from the brain, helping you feel and respond to your environment. There are different types of tissues, like connective tissue, which holds everything together, and epithelial tissue, which lines and protects surfaces in your body, like your skin or the lining of your organs. Now, when different types of tissues come together to perform a more complex function, they form an organ. Each organ in your body is made up of different tissues that work together to do a specific job. For example, the heart is an organ made up of muscle tissue to pump blood, nerve tissue to control the heart's rhythm, and connective tissue to hold everything in place. The heart's job is to pump blood throughout your body, and it relies on all these tissues working together to keep your blood flowing smoothly. Other organs include the lungs, which help you breathe, and the stomach, which helps you digest food. But it doesn't stop there. Organs are part of larger systems. A system is a group of organs that work together to perform a major function that keeps the organism alive. For example, the digestive system includes organs like the mouth, stomach, and intestines, all of which work together to break down food, absorb nutrients, and get rid of waste. The circulatory system includes the heart, blood, and blood vessels, which transport oxygen and nutrients throughout the body. Each system has its own role to play, but they're all connected, and they rely on each other to keep the body functioning as a whole. So, what's the big picture? In multicellular organisms, cells are organized in a hierarchy to perform more and more complex tasks. Cells come together to form tissues, tissues work together to form organs, and organs team up to form systems. Each level of organization builds on the one before it, with the goal of keeping the organism healthy and functioning properly. That's it for today's lesson. Whether it's a muscle cell contracting, the heart pumping, or the digestive system at work, every part of your body is part of a larger system that helps you live your best life.